today's topic is something many online entrepreneurs struggle with, comparisonitis. This isn't a medical term, but it's a real challenge where we constantly compare ourselves to others, leading to demotivation and inaction. I have faced this too, and I want to share my journey and strategies to overcome the comparisonitis. Comparisonitis is a mental track prevalent in the entrepreneurial world. It's when we obsessively measure our progress against others. It hits beginners and experienced entrepreneurs alike. Initially, it might seem harmless, even motivational, but it can quickly spiral into feelings of inadequacy and paralysis in decision-making. I remember when I first started, I looked at others who had been in business longer than me and were more successful, obviously, and I felt like I was falling behind. This wasn't just counterproductive for my progress. It was stifling my creativity and my ability to move forward, take risks and actually succeed. I had to learn that my path is unique and progress isn't always linear or comparable. Comparison needs often stems from our innate desire to measure our progress. As entrepreneurs, we look up to those who are ahead of us. But the problem arises when we see someone who's just one, two, or three steps ahead of us, and we are wondering why we are not there yet. And this, instead of being an inspiration, can lead to frustration. In today's digital age, social media actually makes this worse. Platforms are flooded with success stories. They seldom show the struggle. The late nights, the failed attempts. We see the glory, but not the grind. It's important to approach social media with a critical eye and understand it's the highlight reel. It's the best of the best. It's not the whole story. Overcoming comparison needs requires a proactive approach. Start by curating your social media feeds. Follow those who genuinely inspire you and unfollow or mute accounts that trigger negative emotions. Remember, your feed should empower you and not drain you. Self-reflection has been a game changer for me. Whenever I find myself slipping into the comparison, I pause and reflect on my own journey. I remind myself of where I started, my progress, and where I'm headed. This helps me realign my focus and understand that my journey is unique to me. As online entrepreneurs, we must emphasize action over consumption. It's easy to get lost in endless content thinking it will give you an edge. However, this often leads to analysis paralysis, the antidote action. Implement what you learn, experiment and iterate. This shifts the focus from watching others to focusing on your own growth. Understanding the psychology behind comparison needs is crucial. It often stems from fear of inadequacy or missing out. Recognizing these feelings and addressing them directly can help manage them. Talk to mentors, join mastermind groups or group coaching programs, or seek professional help. You are not alone on this journey. Everyone else is feeling this too, even if they're not talking about it. Celebrate your small wins. Every step forward, every progress you make, however small it may feel like, celebrate it. And this celebration is a feedback loop to yourself. It reminds you that you're making progress. You're not lagging or falling behind. No, you're moving forward. This practice has been instrumental in keeping my spirits up and my focus clear. Building a supportive community is also vital. I always make sure I'm in mastermind groups and I encourage you to do the same. Surround yourself with people who understand the entrepreneurial journey and can provide constructive feedback and understand that they also sometimes have comparison needs. Having a network and being able to share your struggles makes it less isolating and more manageable. 
set realistic and personal goals. Your goal should be tailored to your capabilities, resources, and timeline. This personalization makes it more attainable and relevant. You are not in competition with other people. If you are in competition with anyone, it's yourself. It will boost your confidence to be able to achieve your goal, and then you can set new goals. And you don't need to compare your progress, your journey to anyone else. Maintaining a healthy work-life balance helps as well. Sometimes even just stepping away from all of it, the emails and the social media, and doing something completely different, like going on a daily walk or something else, can give you a new perspective and remind you that comparing yourself to others does not bring you forward. Embrace continuous learning, but do it with attention. Choose courses, books and workshops, and coaching programs and masterminds from mentors that you are truly inspired by. This targeted approach to learning helps you apply the knowledge effectively and keeps you focused on your goal instead of watching constantly what others are doing. Always keep the bigger picture in mind. Remember why you started this entrepreneurial journey and the vision you had for yourself when you started out? This vision keeps you grounded and you're not swept away even if you have temporary setbacks or distractions. In the end, comparison needs is a common hurdle but it's one that you can overcome. Focus on your journey, celebrate your progress and use others' achievements as inspiration, but not a yardstick. How do you deal with comparisonitis? I'm curious. Please comment below this video and tell me. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with someone who might benefit, subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in more topics like these, then watch this next video. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you again soon.